Raised on songs and stories Heroes of renown The passing tales and glories And once was Dublin town The hallowed halls and Well, good day, folks. You're very welcome to another Destination Folk Show. Good night live here from Newry on the Destination Newry website. Today we're joined by a great folk singer all the way from Derry City uh, by the name of Johanna. As Fagan. I say, we're here. It's Johanna Fagan. And you're very welcome, Johanna. So, Thank you. Uh, am I pronouncing the name right? Joanna. Oh, Joanna. Joanna with H. Joanna <laughs> with H. So we'll have her. So you had a brave old spin down from Derry to get here today. So Aye, a couple of hours. You, you arrived here <laughs> in one piece anyway. Aye, safe and sound. So once again, you're very welcome to the show. And uh, just give us a wee bit of background to yourself and the music and how we get into it. Um, well, I started writing music at a young age, but I only started taking it serious when I did performing arts when I was about 18. Right. I actually was going into drama and all first, but I ended up meeting musicians and getting involved in music and recording a few songs, original songs, yeah. down and loving it, and then forming a cover band then, and introducing my own music to that. It was really Brilliant. rock stuff I would have been into back then. And ever since I've been writing songs and doing demos and working on collaborations with other musicians and forming bands and Brilliant. singing all over the shop. <laughs> yeah, and there, there is a big music culture in Derry City. Aye, you know, it's so huge it's, at the minute, so it is yeah, absolutely brilliant. massive. You know, like, uh, I suppose that getting the flower this year was something else too, I'm sure you, Aye. you played a few songs of it, did you? Actually, me and my friend Mandy, we went round busking. The Brilliant. whole way through the fly, we made wee costumes and stuff, and just thought we'd be part of it in our own way. So Brilliant. we went yeah. out nearly every day, and we ended up up in the dairy walls then, playing for ourselves, just for our own fun. <laughs> Brilliant, so that's what it's uh, all about. Well, what we'll do is we get a wee song to let the listeners hear what it's all about. And so just introduce us what we're going to start off with. This is called Distraction. Right. They will come to learn, they will understand What we're here for, I'll take you, take you by the hand To a foreign land, we've connected I crashed into a little distraction you from your dark reaction well you can take my skin and you can have my body soul on soul is my melody walking walking through the maze the water from their faces will release them maybe 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 Maybe, maybe, why oh, will start a revelation I crashed into a little distraction I pulled you from your dark reaction Well, you can take our skins, you can have our bodies hey, Soul on soul is my melody Full one with love We hurt, we replenish, cut We get sewed up I Beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up me I take no more These walls aren't caving and aren't caving in I crashed into a little distraction I pulled you from your dark reaction well, you can take our skins, tattoo our bodies, ace. Soul on soul is my melody. Soul on soul is my melody. Fantastic, very powerful, strong uh, performance of that. Thanks very much. You were giving our loads. Drink our uh, water. Uh, I just noticed there uh, when you were playing, you, you weren't using the plaque, you were 
strumming with, with, with just the fingers. I'm <laughs> sure that, and the, the, the way you were going there, it looked as if, well, you wonder if you have any fingers left after that. Sometimes I never have any nails left. <laughs> uh, you don't have to bite them playing it like that. Exactly, uh, it does a job for me. I'm well, just looking again, an observation on the guitar. She's well worn, she's got a lot of use. I've had this guitar since I've been about 18. It's been battered and ticking everywhere with yeah. me. and it Tells the tale. That's it there. It's what tells stories. <laughs> I, mine's the same. I have a guitar similar to that. And again, it's all worn. There's a hole in it and had to get a wee plastic yard the same as That's yours. That's so the soft wood. Yeah. And this, the cedar wood. Yeah, that they use for it. Three. Fantastic. And uh, uh, very powerful, as they say. So, say the likes of gigging, do you actually gig around Derry at the minute or, or whereabouts do you? Um, I'm more of a kind of, uh, like I would do like charity events and stuff, you know, right. people getting together for good causes and things like that there. Yeah. I love doing things like that because it makes me feel good. Right. Well. <laughs> and uh, I would record as my hobby, I would record all my music as much as I can and get it yeah. down in CD and put it up in SoundCloud and right. just let whoever wants to hear it, hear it and hope to kind of build a network. Right. So I just uh, I love music, so it's my number yeah, one and I, but, but you have, As I said, you have a very strong vocal voice there, so I'm sure you could just dander into a pub or a club um, without uh, any PA equipment and just let her rip because you could hear that voice all over the... Uh, well, it is very, very strong. That's but loud. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's brilliant that some people you can go into that and you go to a session and at least you're, you can be heard over all the instruments, whatever, uh, you know what I mean. But uh, we're going to have a wee listen to, the, to one of the songs on the, on the filing system here. That was, that was the, the Clancy Brothers are giving you a wee song there. Uh, so we're back in live studio here. We're joined with uh, Derry vocalist uh, Joanna Fagan. So, Joanna, see, when you were younger, uh, what influences in the music scene was about then that, that influenced you maybe in the music? <laughs> Probably the influences that are un influencing me now, actually. Right. I would have a big 80s kind of influence in my music that I would play now. You can hear that kind of coming out of it. But uh, back then we wouldn't have even had a, a, a hi-fi system, so it was uh, just the radio and anything that was going and top of the pops watching stuff like that. Yeah. But. Uh, the one band I can remember really, really liking was uh, the Eurythmics. Right. I loved them. They would have maybe they can hear the influence in that in the music uh, yeah. to this day. You know. Right. And uh, concert wise, if you were going to a concert nowadays, who would you? I would love to go and see Skunk and Nancy in concert, so right. I would. And uh, maybe the XX or something like that. Right. They're bands now I wouldn't know much about. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why you would see them around here. <laughs> Skunk and Nancy, she would have the shaved head. Um, right. She would have been big in the in the 90s. Her whole band's called Skunk and Nancy. And they're still going like that, yeah. They actually made a comeback there uh, about right. three years ago. So they're back on the scene now. Right, so you'll yeah. get to see them maybe. Maybe get yeah, a wee hopefully. slut, maybe doing a support actor. Uh, you, never know, like you never know, hopefully. You never know. Introduce her, give us another wee song of what uh, you, you, it's all about. Uh, this is called The Other One. Um, it's a wee bit more upbeat than the last song. So, right. hope you enjoy it. How did it feel when you got caught out? Torn up questions and the imprints I found a letter, saw her photograph Look what you did to me Not too late to know my heart ran on empty Too late to feel this way that I Feel. The other one, I don't want The other one, other one, I don't want The other one, I don't want, I don't want The other one, I don't want The other one, other one, I don't want The other one, I don't want, I don't want I smelt her perfume trapped up in your hair Always trying to make a break up I tore my skin apart to let you in Look what you did to me I 
Yeah, too late to know my heart ran on empty Too late to feel this way that I feel The other one, I don't want The other one, other one, I don't want The other one, I don't want I don't want The other one, I don't want The other one, other one, I don't want The other one, I don't want I don't want You had to push it you had to bring it back You had to run away Screaming on the edge of a reason To the other one, other one Thought you were high class Back into outer space You had to run away, run away Back home to the other one, other one The other one, I don't want The other one, other one the other one, I don't want, I don't want The other one, I don't want The other one, other one, I don't want The other one, I don't want, I don't want I'm rattle them out for Shirley uh, <laughs> So see, when it came to songwriting, uh, like as you were saying, you started the songwriting uh, many, many years ago. Um, how long, roughly, would it take you, to, to, or where would you start when it comes to write a song? Um, Everybody seems to be different when it comes to song songwriting. Yeah, I do it. I do it differently sometimes. Sometimes I would just sit down and I would play around with a melody, right. and the song would just come out, and it's kind of afterwards I realise what it's about. Yeah. And then other times I would record under my phone or record it somewhere and just let them build up and at some point they all come together. Yeah. And I write songs that way too and we're collaborating. Sometimes I just get an idea in my head yeah. and go with it. Right. But um, different to everything. Would you, would you write the, the words down as they're coming out? Or I never them write about? my words down. Do you know, no, never? I kind of just remember them as I go along. Brilliant. If I remember them, it's good because it means it's going to be a good song. Brilliant. Mm. Yeah, and it was I need to, I need to write write it down as or even type it in on my phone now. That the phones are that high tech, you know what I mean? Just uh, and maybe chop and change it around. But it's brilliant that you can memorize all that without writing it down. You know uh. what I mean? <laughs> I know myself sometimes you come to write a song if you try to remember it, and then the next time you try this thing, it was thinking, well, it wasn't the way I had it the first time. Aye. Right, you know? And then there's a word missing maybe that should have been in there. You know what I mean? Aye. Well, uh, we'll get another wee song here from the archives here. Okay. Just look Kelly there and Kelly the boy from Killan. So for a play to join a uh, fantastic song before that. Uh, suppose uh, you, you upload a lot of your stuff onto the internet, YouTube, do you? Uh, yeah, I've got a, f a good few videos on YouTube. They're right. kind of just random ones at my house or at gigs and right. I just stick, stick them up. Um, I've got a, a music video up on YouTube Brilliant. called Silhouette. Right. If you type in Silhouette and then me forward dash Joe. Right. Um, it's from a punk kind of rock band I was in last year. Right. Um, we call it Silhouette and we made the video ourselves, me and a guy called Colin Eastwood with the help of the Nerve Centre right. and Derry and uh, my friends too. Um, one of my friends, Mandy, she did all the makeup and her and Abby and Brenda, they did all the costume and everything, so Fantastic. we made it on a budget of like about ten pounds. And You're the ten pounds was for like the pastry they put over the banker's face as pretend skin. Right. They pull right. off, Aye. so everyone kind of came together, and, and we we had a good product in the end. Brilliant. So and the best of it, like you know, with the internet, it's it's worldwide. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like you can meet anybody. Years ago, there was none of that. You know what I mean? Mm. Even like years and years ago, people hadn't even phones. You no, know, so. You, you were wondering how even people organise tours or world tours or anything like that years yeah. ago. Nowadays, you just upload a video and That's you can it. get hundreds of thousands of hits. Brilliant, you know. But uh, we'll have another song here and just introduce us to what we're going to be doing this time. Uh, this is actually my newest song. It's called Brilliant. My Life Reversed. Brilliant. And it's kind of, it's a song about going through hardships in life, but there's a positive Outcome. ending. Don't right. want to depress you. There you go. This is 
my life reversed I choked a person from birth I felt the lion's tongue He thought I craved his fun But I hid, hid it so well Till it almost killed me Till I almost killed myself And my life was always incomplete The stronger part of me Was buried by my feet I walked a path of war And this suffocated Depleted my soul My heart could not ignore That the truth was a lie And the lie wasn't love But the love was a gun And they say They say that only love Only love can make us Why does it break us? Because you trust in somebody You're forgetting about yourself You're forgetting about your world And oh, I'll pull you out I'll pull you out, I'll make light out of you To erase the choir of the breaking heart And I know, oh, it's the stuff that we feel That makes us into whatever's real And I know that facing up to this will be something I'll learn from will be something I'll grow from and just stay the truth will set me free I love my body I'll find my baby And oh, I'll pull you out I'll pull you out I'll make light out of you To erase the choir of the breaking heart And I know oh, it's the stuff that we feel That makes us into whatever's real No, this again, it's, it's powerful lyrics there, you know, and a great performance. So I'm sure you're well known around Derry. Come on, I think so. Sounds like you're you know, on the vocals, you know. From playing uh, at parties at the weekend. <laughs> oh, you're, you're a party girl, is it? <laughs> does, your, does your music uh, take you abroad anywhere? Or do you, if, when you're yeah. traveling, do you take the guitar with you? Um, I've, usually I would take the guitar with me, um, depending on how much money I have at the time, because it costs a fortune. <laughs> yeah. But I like to take my guitar with me. It's come to London with me. It's come to Brilliant. Manchester, Liverpool, anywhere I go that's... Yeah, I can, it's part of me. <laughs> yeah, I, funny enough, we were just talking about that the other day. But the, 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 some of the airlines, the prices they charge for the guitar. I know. You know, there's one airline that's eighty quid, eighty euro, mm. uh, forty each way. You know, and uh, was, I'm heading to London myself to sing now in May. Yeah. And I was going to fly, and then it says, you know, the, the hassle mm. with the guitar that you have, you know, on these airlines. You know what I mean? The nightmare. I know. It's so. Uh, I actually went out and bought myself a wee travel guitar a few oh, years back, right. a wee Martin travel guitar, and I stick it on my back and I walk on <laughs> as if I'm carrying nothing, you know what I mean? And uh, it does the trick, you know what I mean? That's brilliant. So it's brilliant. I almost get myself one of those. But uh, it's again, you, you, you miss the, 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 the big guitar, you know, mm. as such. But uh, then I spoke to a band the other day and they took the instruments, uh, they went to America mm. last year and they took the instruments and didn't book none on, just the way they went. Don't they? How'd so they get away with I that? I don't know. <laughs> they, they, they had guitars and the Dylan pipes and everything. Mm. And I'm saying to myself, God, you know what I mean? Well, what is it? You know what I mean? But it's just our luck to get Aye. stopped, you know what I mean? But uh, 
No, it's brilliant. I'm saying when, when, uh, when you're able to play music like that, you, you can take it anywhere. Uh, exactly. You, you can go anywhere, you know, and you can capture an audience or wherever, you know what I mean. So, uh, what, 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 do you, what do you plan for the future? You know, where do you think you'll be? Um, in, in well, on St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to be recording another single called Sparkle and Dynamite. Um, I'm recording that with a guy called Liam Craig. Um, so hopefully we'll do a good job of that. Um, I'm collaborating. Where, where's that in? That will be, uh, I'll be doing that in the Blast Furnace in Derry. Right. I recorded previous stuff there before with a producer called Rory Donaghy. Right. He recorded four tracks for me a few years back. They sounded really, really good. You can check them out on SoundCloud if you right. just look for my name. Yeah. Lots of stuff's there. Yeah. Um, I'll actually be starting up a record label too with a few friends, hopefully. Brilliant. Right. And uh, just keep working and collaborating and writing good music right. and recording it and getting it out there for people to hear yeah. and enjoy. Is there any, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, up in Derry, is there any sort of programs up there where you can actually get funding to do these arts projects? Yeah, the f um, there, there's lots of funding available, especially for the arts at the minute, yeah. because we're coming out of the city of culture as well. Yeah. So yeah. everybody's just, all artists of all type and Aye. shape and form have just come out of their shells and yeah. showing dairy for what it really is. Yeah. And uh, there's organizations like such as PRS and AMRO and right. they help artists fund. Um, if you come to them with a good project, particularly PRS, um, they're more than happy. Yeah. You know, if you've got a plan and you stick to it and you've got a good, yeah. a good venture going on, they'll, they'll fund. Oh, brilliant, no you know, because it, the, the music business can be quite costly. A lot of people think yep. people's out there making money, this and that, but people don't see the costs, and that's about, especially if you're hiring a professional video outfits yeah. to, to yeah. put any sort of video shows together. You know, yeah. they can be quite costly, and it would be brilliant like, that the projects come along and can fund you, you know. Yeah. And look, it, obviously, it's going to be doing the, the city uh, promoting it as well, you yeah, know, the it would, talent. Yeah, it definitely helps, but there's that much, uh, there's that many different types of art artistic people in the town that people help each other yeah. just for the sheer enjoyment of it, and yeah. they have a product at the end which we can all be proud of. Yeah. And so, like, it's good to have people and it's good to get professionals in when really needed, but we can kind of handle it all ourselves as well. Yeah, you know? uh, of course we had the undertones come out of there. Yes, you know, exactly. I mean, world famous. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I've seen something about, was there a reunion planned or had, was there? I thought there was many of a reunion well, planned. Probably, uh, as usual, a lot of bands <laughs> always have their reunions. Is uh, it, the, the pension pay packet, as they say. I'm not saying that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get Andrew to give us another wee song here from the archives. Yep, uh, this is... Right no, it's oh. Christy Moore singing uh, Jimmy McCarthy's uh, Carthy song, uh, The Ride On. Brilliant song. Uh, do you listen much to Christy Moore yourself? Do uh, you? I like Christy Moore. No, I've played that song myself right on a few times. Right. And uh, it goes down well. Everybody knows uh, it. Everyone loves the likes it. of the voyage and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I suppose in, in, in the ballad music, you know what I mean? It's a bit more sort of relaxed type of stuff compared yeah. to what you, your influences are. You're, mm -hmm. you're into some more of punky, rocky type of folk, you know. Yeah. Uh, but um, obviously, when the fly was on in, in, up in Derry, you know, obviously. Brilliant crowds were coming in. I don't yeah. know what the, the estimated figures were, but it, it, I was up on the Saturday myself, and the crowds were awesome. You know what I mean? But uh, would you like to see the likes of that coming back more often? It was oh, the first definitely. time ever in Ulster, and you know, they were the All Ireland Fly. Yeah, you know? definitely. It's 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 good. Like they get that many people anyway coming yeah. into your city, and even when there's been a, a, a bit of a hype about it, right. um, then people coming in and just seeing, you know, it's actually quite a cool place and the amount of musicians that are there and yeah. how friendly people are and welcoming they are too. It's, and it's, it's just a great atmosphere all together, right. having something like that. And as I say, like you had some brave famous people from Derry, like you had uh, Phil Calder, yeah. who's known worldwide um, yeah. for song composing and playing the piano or whatever, you know. Yeah. So they have produced their, their, their artists, you know what Definitely, I mean? Definitely, and there's many more to come. Yeah, Dana. Dana she, as well. Won the Eurovision. So yeah. It's famous, as they say, you know, as it comes to, to music, you know. But uh, give us another song there, Joanna, and uh, tell us what this one's all this about. This one is called Sparkling Dynamite, and uh, this will be my next single. Brilliant. Fully produced version, of course, with live band and stuff. But this is the... Cut down on. Broken smile, stay out. 
while or we'll never know and now one more can't you see i will not ignore cause when you're beside me i feel like fire sparkling dynamite my hands get all Decision to love Worlds apart Can't you see That you have my heart There's nothing left Nothing left That I can regret Cause when you're beside me I picture a beauty, a lover to screw me with my fuck mentality For I am the iconic lover of bodies, appearance and everything For I am an artist, you are my vision, decision to love gonna give up when you're gonna open your eyes my heart is melting from the heat that's inside I'm now an avalanche a little piece of your mind I feel distorted like I'm drifting behind when you're gonna wise up why do you have to ignore that when you're beside me, I feel like fire sparkling dynamite. I picture a beauty, a lover to screw me with my fuck mentality. For I am the iconic lover of body, appearance, and everything. to love Very energetic performance there, there's no doubt about it. Uh, just you were in the rec recording, that's going to be your new single. Uh, See, when it comes to recording with your own stuff, do you use the same musicians all the time or have you got that wee network that you, you do use all the time or what way does it happen? Um, well, I like to hire a good drummer. For, start, for starters. I right. uh, my last recording, uh, I got a, a guy called Jay Dixon on to play. He's amazing, very right. tight, saves so much time in the studio. He just Brilliant. whacks it out and he gets the songs. Yeah. So we'll be using him again for the recording of Spark on Dynamite. Is it, is it electronic drums or the proper drum kit? A proper kit. Right. It's going right. to be a whole kind of Celtic vibe, Brilliant. drum beat behind it. Right. I want that kind of Irishy feel, hence recording it in St. Patrick's Day. We're going to try and capture a wee bit of right. Irish spirit in it. Right. And uh, obviously, you go into is a studio in the yeah. city itself, yeah? The Blast Burner Studio is uh, situated uh, just in front of the Rathmore Centre in Craigan. Go right. on there, we industrial estate. Right, right. Uh, Roy Donahue owns that. So there's nobody looking to take the day off to go out on the, on the rip that day? Then? Surprisingly no. enough, when St. Patrick's Day was suggested, I was like, right, but. Everyone's up for it, so that's brilliant. Ah, Aye. happy days. And, and what's the other line up then in, in the instruments then that'll come in that day? Um, I will have my friend Chris Cassidy playing bass. Um, right. He works for a record label called Small Town America. He would be engineering and producing for them. And brilliant. He's an old friend of mine and he worked uh, with me before in a band called Fire Queen and he played bass. Right. And he was actually there when I wrote Sparkle and Dynamite, so he was kind of Brilliant. involved in the whole creation right, of it. Right, so yeah. I thought it only right to get him to play yeah. the bass in the recording. I'll be playing the guitar myself and probably doing all the wee 
extras. Yeah. Um, there's going to be an Irish fuddle on it, a guy called Robert Peoples. He was he, a well-known uh, Phylum player in Derry. Right. Um, he'll be playing the, the Phylum, and you're the kind of, to, yeah. to give it that Irishy feel. Yeah. And uh, everything else, we'll just kind of see what happens on the day. It sounds good, sounds brilliant. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm looking wait. forward to hear the, the final uh, production. But uh, so when you go into that studio, you've learnt, are you all playing together the one go where you take every individual? We are going to, there's many different ways you can do yeah. it, but I want to kind of capture the live feeling. Right. So we're probably going to go on and whack it out a few times yeah, after right. pre kind of rehearsals. Yeah. Uh, so we get it sound and tight and we're not wasting time in the studio. Right. And then we'll capture that live feel and then we'll yeah. record everything else through the computer or uh, as separate. Yeah. The added extras. And there's no doubt about it, when you've that captured down, you'll join the celebrations in the Maiden City. Oh, I definitely. Uh, we'll be straight out there I celebrating. <laughs> will, you, will you play music anywhere that day yourself? Um, funnily enough, I usually keep St. Patrick's Days free for myself because right. you can get bombarded um, up the town. It'd be completely packed and yeah. I like to kind of chill out. But um, anywhere you can go, anywhere you want to go, you can just pick up a guitar and sit uh -huh. and play. So I kind of yeah. like the, the freedom in that rather than being tied down. Yeah. You know? uh, no, I used to play every Sunday in the Dunlow Bar. Oh, the Dunlow's a great wee bar. So uh, it was mad every Sunday around about six o'clock and then there'd be somebody come on at nine. Aye. But uh, I'm now in Belfast most of the time, so uh, cool. uh, I don't mind uh, giving the two-hour journey a miss. Aye, you know, aye the travelling can aye. suck a bit. <laughs> you know. But uh, we're, we're going to do a song this time, uh, it was Ropey Phil Calder. We're going to get Andrew played. Uh, that was the fabulous Nathan Carter singing along with Phil Calder there. Phil Calder composed that song, Phil from Derry. Uh, the Town I Love So Well, a very popular song. And, Great version of it by Nathan Carter. So once again, we're joined live in the studio, Destination Folk, with Sals, Damien Quinn, and all the way from Derry, Joanna Fagan. So, Joanna, was there, was there any music in your family growing up? I mean, did anybody else play any music, or what, um, was there any musical background? My father played the guitar and right. stuff. Um, just, my mum would have brought in the CDs and stuff like that. She would have been playing them all the time. Right. Um, but my whole family, uh, there would be a kind of like a musical background. A, a lot of us can kind of pick up an instrument and, and play, you know, in, in the wider kind of yeah. range of the family. Right. Um, my younger sister, um, she doesn't play the bass, but she's really good at it. <laughs> 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 she just decided not to learn, but she, right. she's got the music right? in her too, yeah. Yeah, it sort of helps, you know, when the, the, the people to say to me, is anybody in your family play instruments, you know, but my mom and father didn't really play, so... I think it was my grandfather's side we can yeah. they, they play the banjo or my grandmother or something played the banjo but <laughs> I never ever remembered them because they were, by the time I came along my grannies and grandmas all passed away but I was always told it came from my father's side of the family you know so yeah. it's just great to know when you're researching your background where did the music come from you know even mm -hmm. for your own self you know but uh, we got another wee song idea so what's on the, the menu for the next one? This is called Salt City Blues um, mm -hmm. You can get this track, stream it on SoundCloud. Brilliant. Look at me, I'm crying The only one I've ever loved is you The only thing that I can do Is write a song that touches you from we Salt City Blues The lights were meant to burn The stage was meant to break You're standing on my throat 
You're crushing every word. You're thriving in my veins. You're driving me insane. I'm torn between a world of love and pain. Of love and pain. Tear a strip from my dignity. The water's warm, we'll watch it flow down the stream. And now the only thing that I can do is write a song that touches you from with and Salt City Blue. You're crushing every word You're thriving in my veins You're driving me insane I'm torn between a world Of love and pain Of love and pain yeah. The truth A true where have you gone the salt city blues the lights were meant to burn the stage was meant to break you're standing on my throat you're crushing every word you're thriving in Driving me insane. I'm torn between a world of love and pain. Of love and pain. Look at me. I'm crying. The only one I've ever loved is you. Well done, Joanna. Absolutely great. Did, do you ever any bother with your vocal cords? Or did you take anything? I used to have so much bother with my, my vocal cords. It right. was unbelievable. Um, yeah, because you're really you're throwing it out there. You know what I mean? It's really <laughs> you're I'm passionate. Actually you know, trying to uh, take a wee kind of step back and write stuff that is softer and, yeah. and and gentler and things like that there, and then bring out my loudness and yeah. kind of more where it where it gives an effect because I'm. Yeah. Fed up now. Aye, because uh, yeah. I was singing. Uh, I would just imagine the, like you singing the, all that type of style of music. Yeah. You know, it can be strainful on on the vocal cords. It you really know, can. And then when you go to parties after gigs and stuff like that, and people yeah. expect you to give them an hour show, that's when you really do damage. That, that's to your that is when you do them, especially yeah. if you're taking a few drinks. You know, what I mean, you're at a party. Yeah, you just exactly. you don't care. You're letting her lash out. You know. Yeah. And did you take anything for vocal cords um, at all? Yeah, well, if I was going to do a recording or I had something important on, I would kind of sip honey and lemon throughout the day. Right. right. And that, that would be kind of it. That does the job for right. me. So it, it's, it's, it's whole and, uh, would, would you, Do you take it warm or just... Just I mean, lukewarm water right. um, with fresh lemon and honey. And right. the lemon takes the whatever's on your throat. It, it gets rid of that and then the right. honey coats it. And mm. the lukewarm gives you a nice wee... Yeah. Heat up. There you go, there's That's it. <laughs> <laughs> every every artist has their own remedy, you know. I I use manuka honey just yeah, on the spoon straight in and it nearly makes me sick. I can't take honey. Oh. I just but I have to persevere if if I need it, you know yeah. what I mean? I love manuka um, honey. It's expensive <laughs> now, it's sort of like the, you can spend any amount of money on manuka honey, but it's it's the it's the real Mackay as I say. But uh it's good to know all them different remedies, you know. But uh, once again, Joanna, thank you very much for coming into the studio. Thank it was a pleasure. And I wish you all the best in any of the future recordings on your music. Thanks so once much. again, folks, that was Destination Folk here live today with Damien Quinn and Joanna Fagan from Derry. So we're going to leave you with a song by Mary Black this time. It's a song called Anarchy Garden. Thank you. <laughs>